Most people think of a turbocharger as either an aftermarket bolt-on accessory for only the most insane horsepower junkies, or a way to make a lame four-stroke feel faster. And while both these things are actually true, there are other reasons to turbocharge a four-stroke. Today we're going to take a look at the only two sleds available with factory installed turbos and why these manufacturers chose to go this route on their four-stroke engines. Polaris's original 750 four-stroke was not too exciting, but the addition of a turbo to that sled has taken it from mild to wild. Arctic Z1 1100 engine is pretty strong on its own, but a turbo on this sled shoots it straight to the top of the horsepower game. For anyone unfamiliar with turbochargers, I'd like to take a really quick second to give you the abbreviated version of what they do and how they work. Simply put, a turbo forces more air into the intake of an engine. This causes an increase in compression as the piston rises and when combined with the increase in oxygen inside the cylinder, causes a bigger bang when the spark plug fires. The turbo itself is a dual-sided turbine that sits somewhere along the exhaust pipe. The exhaust gas flowing through the pipe hits one side of the turbine causing it to spin, which in turn spins the other side of the turbine that's sucking fresh air and forces it into the intake of the engine. For the consumer, this translates into way more smiles per squeeze of the flipper. But there are a few things a turbo does that not many people realize. To get a better feel for what these things are, we went straight to the experts. Well, I think the, the biggest advantage to having a turbocharged four-stroke versus a non-turbocharged is you get more power out of a small displacement. And so what it gives you the opportunity to do is package things smaller and fit them into a smaller space uh, than what you might do if you had a multi-cylinder engine. Something to keep in mind when you ride that turbo, you'll get into the gas and the corners come up real quick. So you always have to find that learning curve and get used to it. Our turbocharged motors, 177 horsepower, so definitely going to get a handful. It's uh, definitely not a novice machine. Besides increased horsepower, uh, one of the nice things about a turbo is its flexibility in terms of altitude. So it doesn't really matter much whether you're riding at sea level or up in the mountains. Turbo helps it perform better where the air is thinner and you have less oxygen to make power. The other thing I think related to performance is just it's a cool factor. It's really cool to have a snowmobile that's turbocharged. A sled with a turbo is every bit as fast and every bit as fun as a non-turbo sled of equal horsepower, but there are a few differences you're going to have to adjust to if this is the type of sled you're looking for. When I look back over the years at some of the Snowtrax crew's favorite sleds, I noticed something interesting. A number of those sleds have factory installed turbos. Arctic's T660, Polaris's IQ Cruiser Turbo, and Arctic Cat's Z1 Turbo from last season have all found a special place in our hearts, which proves an interesting point about turbo technology that many people may tend to overlook or avoid. Turbos are not just for horsepower junkies or crazy mountain riders. They're every bit as useful for everyday average trail riders as well. So don't be scared off by or avoid a turbocharged sled because it might just become the best sled you've ever owned.